Next up on Week in Review. A toddler builds shelves by dwarf. Andrew juggles his beach balls. And we stop in at Procore's Groundbreak 2019. This is your Power Tool Week in Review. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Rob. And I'm Sarah. And here's what happened this week in the world of Power Tools. We're going to start off this week with the Kite Army, where Andrew proves once again that no one can keep more balls in the air than him. In his quest to crown the king of cordless blowers, Andrew tested 10 models, including Milwaukee, Makita, DeWalt, and Ego. He provides a great CFM versus miles per hour primer and even explains the difference between volts and amp hours, all in an attempt to help you make a better blower purchase. He then tests them all for power endurance, at which point Ego decimates everything. Andrew's videos are just as funny as they are informative, so don't miss it at Kite Army on YouTube. Have you had enough circular saw reviews? I didn't think so. Well, you're in for a treat as Clint brought the Milwaukee M18 right side circular saw into the tool review zone, and things went well. He tosses around compliments like flawless guard, really balanced, and so smooth. I really enjoyed it right up until this. Man, he is a really good dancer. It looks like his feet's hot though. And I'm out. If you want to learn more about the Milwaukee and can handle this much, Clint, head over to the tool review zone on YouTube. DeWalt, known for their yellow tools and really cranky fans, makes some really nice heavy-duty shelving as well. This week, a one-year-old posted a video showing off how easy it is to set up and how well-constructed it is. To help with the heavy lifting, she asked Murray from Kruger Construction to give her a hand. If you need more space to put your tools and prefer to set up easy enough for a one-year-old, head over to Kruger Construction on YouTube. Vince has dedicated his life and his business to informing the masses on the very best and very worst the power tool industry has to offer. That dedication puts him at odds with anonymous commenters online who remarkably know everything and are quick to point out when he's wrong. As he reviews the new skill saw carpentry chainsaw, he takes the time to remind those commenters why he's the very cool guy and they're not. Well, what's this? Is that a safety? Oh. Surprise, surprise. The commenter, know-it-alls, they didn't know what they were talking about. It's just, I'm sorry, just. So humble yourself before heading over to VCG Construction on YouTube. Procore is an undeniable rising star in the construction software industry. Their annual conference, known as Groundbreak, grew to 4,000 attendees this year. Among them was Shane, the construction junkie. Shane spent the week reporting on the new features announced for their platform and talked to several vendors who offer additional solutions that work directly with Procore's system. To fill us in on the very latest in construction tech, we go live to Phoenix, Arizona with the construction junkie himself. Shane? Hey Rob, hey Sarah. I'm in Phoenix, Arizona at Procore Groundbreak 2019. There was over 4,000 attendees at this construction technology conference. I had the opportunity to speak to a lot of great vendors uh, from construction technology, and Procore had some amazing news to share as well. So you can find out more about that on your favorite construction website, which is... Tool Guide. Uh, no, uh, construction, construction Junkie. There it is. <laughs> so go to constructionjunkie.com for all your construction industry news. Thanks, Shane. You were in that video. Uh, yes, I was. Okay, enough shenanigans. It's time for actual work with Rob Robillard. Hey, Rob, Sarah, how you guys doing? I'm good. What time zone is this? So look, here's a quick tip for remodelers. You're remodeling a bathroom and you've got a tub that's actually in good shape but the rest of the room needs to be remodeled. Save it. So we actually cut plywood to fit over the tub uh, deck and then we got the bathroom. We also wrap it in plastic and, and protect it. You can use moving cloths. Then once the bathroom's gutted, we use mineral, uh, mineral spirits or acetone and we soften the 50 years of caulking uh, for a while. We come back later and we just scrape it with razor blades. It takes about an hour, maybe two hours of your time. That's maybe $150 worth of labor to, to save a tub, as well as, you know, if you think about the cost of buying a, a steel cast porcelain tub like this, it's well in the thousands of dollars with labor and purchasing. So this is a great way to be budget conscious and, and uh, repurpose. Have a great week, we'll see you later. Thanks Rob, it's time for a make or break. Sam from DIY Huntress made an entertainment cabinet with an oak live edge slab. The cabinet is complete with adjustable shelves and a few open shelves for decorations or a gaming console. She said there are a few things that she would have done differently during this build, like using primer and not using edge banding. Regardless, the cabinet turned out awesome. And you can find Sam at DIY Huntress on YouTube. 
It's no secret that all of us from Koptel are huge fans of the Wood Whisperer, but today we changed our minds. Wait, what? Why? Well, because he destroyed this beautiful backyard table, although I figure we can forgive him since he turned it into something even more gorgeous, this modern outdoor coffee table. He made the plans for the new table based off of what he could save from the old one. It's pretty cool. You should go check it out at the Wood Whisperer on YouTube. In an effort to organize his shop, Craftswright and Makery shared a video where he built a small wooden tool chest. His videos are filled with tips and tricks of the trades that might be helpful to you on your next build. So if you haven't subscribed to his channel yet, you should go do that now. He is so calming and entertaining to watch. Plus, he makes really cool stuff. And you can find him at Craftswright and Makery on YouTube. That's it for this week's Maker Break. If one of your favorite makers builds something you would like to see on the show, you can send it to me at projects at coptool.com. It's time for construction industry news with Construction Junkie. If you follow us on Instagram, you know that I had the pleasure of tagging along with Shane to the Procore Groundbreak 2019 event, where we saw the very latest in software and tech in the construction industry. Procore had three major announcements, including a new owner's module, analytics, and the new ability to embed third-party apps. If you're not familiar with Procore, you'll have to trust me that for construction teams, these are all really big deals. While we were there, we also had a chance to talk to a whole bunch of third-party vendors who had new software and hardware that tied into the Procore system. Something I found particularly cool was the Universe system from OtterBox. I've been familiar with the OtterBox line of phone cases for years, but this system is something only marketed to industry professionals. The familiar cases now have a utility slot on the back that can be licensed by other providers, allowing them to make clip-on accessories like this infrared scanner, 3D mappers, and a whole bunch more. For a full recap of the event, be sure to visit constructionjunkie.com. Before we dive into our weekend, let's take a look at a few of our favorite posts on Instagram. Boys Town is challenging a group of talented professionals in the trades to make something for good. Each maker is building a special project that will be auctioned off to support Boys Town Village. One of our favorites that was posted was by Jeff Devlin, who built this beautiful bench with a hidden message that you should find for yourself. When the cordless worm drive first arrived, the French Canadian carpenter posted an Instagram video that shocked most of us and made skeptics of many others. So just to drive his point home, he set up another race this week and the results uh, probably won't surprise you. Speaking of Canadians using skill saws, the regular Canadian carpenter Joe pushed the new carpentry train saw to its very limits with a 40 degree cut through a 10 by 10. Finally, our favorite fancy New York furniture maker, Ethan, decided to show us all how to make a proper shop taco. And now we're hungry. Thanks, Ethan. All right, guys, that's going to do it for us this week. But before we go, I wanted to congratulate Kenneth. He won the Milwaukee packout full of measuring tapes that Rob is super sad that you got. So congratulations. Congratulations, Kenneth. Uh, you know what? I noticed something this week what? on Instagram. There's a whole bunch of pumpkin spice lattes, which I just don't care that much about. But also, along with that, <laughs> comes Power Tool Pumpkin Carving. Pumpkin Carving! It makes me so happy. Yeah, Sarah Listy, the Tool, Tool Girls Garage, yes. posted hers, which looked awesome and kind of inspired me. I think that we need to do this. And I think all of you guys need to do it too. So that's our challenge this week. We would like you all to go out, grab yourself a pumpkin, get some power tools out, and make something scary. Then send us the picture. You can either send it to info at mm -hmm. or post it on Instagram. Just tag us. And any ones that are submitted, we will put on the show next week. Thank you, Ohio Power Tool, for sponsoring the show. Guys, don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss a thing. And we'll see you next week.